This is lab entry number two. Lab entry number one was just a picture of the microscope. Today is the 14th of December, and I am going to test to see that the microscope works, that uh, I can correctly display an image on my computer, especially that I have a Linux system. I have prepared some cells. They're just yeast cells with a little bit of sugar to keep them alive. And I have prepared them here in on a slide. And I mount the slide on the microscope to visualize them. Okay, this is the image from the microscope. It's at very low magnification, uh, 40 times only. And you can see here are the cells. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to focus because there is a delay. So when I try to change the focus, there's like a one or two second delay and it makes it very difficult, to, a little bit challenging to get it uh, sharp. Let's increase the magnification so we can see more of the cells. And we need to just adjust the focus a bit. There we go. You can see some of the yeast cells here. Uh, they are alive, I, at least I think they are alive. They don't look like they are lysed or anything. Um, but as I am aware, they, are, they don't move. So they look a little bit boring, but that's fine. Higher magnification, 400 times. There's a bit of a delay. Uh, and focusing is uh, challenging, but moving it is not a problem. As long as they're all focused, uh, that should be easy. Now there is a green filter, which I have off actually. I have it out, but the picture is still sort of greenish. And I need to look into fixing that. See some of the yeast cells here. Uh, I fed them sugar last night. I think they finished it all. Otherwise, I was hoping to see some carbon dioxide being produced. These are just normal brewer's yeast. Uh, the ones you get from the supermarket that makes, uh, use it to make bread or cakes and so on. So at least I got the microscope working. Uh, it was actually quite challenging to get it to work on Linux. The source code, well, it's not a real source. The program is a binary that you compile, and it's, uh, it breaks a lot. Um, I found an SDK that I'm trying to maybe use it somewhere else. But at least now I kind of sort of got it to work. Uh, my backup plan, of course, is to use it on Windows or Linux uh, or, or Macintosh. Uh, and there are ways to get these operating systems on Linux. Um, I don't have. I, ha I have limited uh, computational power um, on my system, so I'm hoping to avoid that. But you know, if I couldn't get it working on Linux, um, that is an option. So I hope you found that useful. I can confirm that uh, the microscope works with my setup, with my Linux, and I can visualize correctly the uh, cells. That way, when I purchase the slides, I can image them myself. Next time, I will upload, I, I, will, I will make a um, lab entry on the neural network. I'm going to explain how it works and show you some of the code.